what I'm saying is that there is an absence in the West of a, any sort of understanding of the Soviet contradiction. And I would argue beyond that that there are consequences. That what happened in June, July, August 1941 had an indelible impact on the Soviet and Russian psyche. Tremendous losses, catastrophic losses. And as a result, the Soviet Union, after the war, had a slogan essentially, never again, never again will we allow this to occur. That was why the Soviet Union maintained the largest military force in the world, and ultimately it bankrupted the state. The Russian Federation today realizes the vulnerability of its own vulnerability, and also harkens back to the great patriotic war, and fear for what happened in the first year of that war. What happened there before has shaped history since and will continue to shape Russian attitudes in the future. No country, no people, suffered so terribly in the war as the Soviet Union. Nowhere else are the memories of war so alive today and so profound. The German invasion brought about a catastrophe which it seemed at first no nation could survive. In the siege of Leningrad alone, which lasted for over two years, more human beings died than the total war dead of Britain and the United States combined. Yet it was here that Hitler was broken. The Russian people faced the possibility that they might perish and overcame it.